for pulmonary hypertension, Tyvezo. This is distilled water. For now, this is what I do four times a day. You just kind of chill out and breathe. Nine breaths. <laughs> <laughs> I was 23 years old. I graduated from college. I had a boyfriend who's now my husband. High school graduation <laughs> before red face. But all of a sudden I got little red spots all over. It hot and kind of blistery. I had told my mother-in-law, she said, I bet they're going to test you for lupus. And I said, lupus, what's that? And I had known nothing about it. You gotta wash your hands a lot. Because you take immunosuppressants, you're more susceptible to getting an infection or germs. You get pretty good at <laughs> swallowing a whole handful. You no, know, it's an autoimmune disease. It's your body's immune system thinking that your own body is the enemy. All right. Out of all the lupus patients, they say like a third will have kidney disease. That's my good boy. That kind of puts you in a different oh. class. Now you have organ involvement. And then later, diagnosis with pulmonary hypertension. So it's not getting better, but hey, it still could be worse. So I try to see the positive. <laughs> I'm out of breath just sitting in the car. But I recover quickly, that's the good news. It's hard to understand how those genes get turned on and turned off and what makes lupus start. 23andMe is trying to understand on a genetic level what causes these diseases. Being able to find some kind of link genetically, they send a spit kit where you put your saliva in the kit and then you send it back and all the information is collected. But that we have this capability to just do this kind of thing in the mail, it's really kind of interesting. You have to stay positive. Anything you can do to perk up your life and have positive feelings is just gonna make you feel good, which is gonna lower your stress, which is gonna make you happier and healthier. <laughs> all right, we'll go to the park. You really just have to take your situation for what it is on that day and have positive hope and faith you will get through the next step, whatever it is. The dogs crack you up. <laughs> it's really exciting that we have this capability. You know, a lot of it is the future of all of our genetic science. Look at it. We're down to the very little tiny bits of who we are.